Hey guys, uh, just want to show you some new construction that we're working on here. We're doing some wiring in this house. It's, it's going to be a beautiful house. Uh, anyways, you can kind of see that they're all their truss style floor joists, uh, which from an electrician and plumbing standpoint are really, really handy because we don't have to drill any holes. And you can see that we've gone back to some housings for the can lights. We very seldom use the housings anymore. You can see that's what those silver six inch round deals are. Uh, we don't use those much anymore. We use a, a, a snap-in style, low profile. We call it a wafer light. Um, but what makes this place unique is you can see behind me the foam. That foam is part of the form system for the, it's actually concrete walls. So it's three inch deep of foam right there. And uh, that foam is on the inside and the out exterior of the building. And there are these eight inch uh, gap in the middle, which they end up eventually pouring concrete all the way down through there. And so that is your exterior insulation um, and, and structure for the building. So you got three inches on this side, three inches of foam on the outside, plus eight inches of concrete. And so it's great, it's done. And there's inside there, there's little plastic grooves. I'll show you down here. So these plastic grooves are every eight inches on center. So when they go to hang sheetrock or whatever they're going to do for their finished boards, they got places to screw to and, and, and hook their sheetrock to. But the problem for us, from the electrician's standpoint, is that we can't get our wires in there easily. So we actually have to trench these things all horizontally, as you can see that we did. We're roughly probably, I don't know, two and a half, three inches deep there with our Romex. And so we trench it all out, and it is an absolute mess. There's foam everywhere. Um, but so here, that's how we get our wires from point A to point B. But where it comes to the outlet box or a switch box, here we are in the kitchen. And so there's going to be a fair amount of work here with the trenching. So what you can see we've done here is we get in here. So that box right now, we've got it sandwiched in there. We're screwed to the eight, every eight inches here and here, holding that box up against the concrete in the backside. Actually, I've got a gap back there that I spaced it out. So what we're going to do is we're going to spray foam in. We're going to notch all this out here, a little bit deeper around this. And then I'm going to spray foam all through there. And when that spray foam hardens in around the plastic molding of the box for the nail brackets and, uh, you know, and just in general, it, it, it adheres to the box really well. And once they sheetrock, once that uh, insulation dries, hardens, and they sheetrock, these boxes, they'll never go anywhere. Um, and so that's kind of what we've done there. And... Uh, well, this is, I'm not even sure what this thing is here. I've seen these before. They're always right in my way, so let me move that out of the way here. Anyways, uh, so that's kind of what it looks like in a nutshell. You can see we've got, you know, conventional framing here. The plumbers have, on the back side, you can see that's a washer box for the laundry on the other side. We've got some vents coming up from the mechanical guys, and then the white thing there is a, is a vent for the plumbing. And then you're back to seeing some more electrical work here. So the whole exterior of this building is the same foam panels foam uh, foundation panels, and then the inside interior partitions would all be conventionally framed with wood framing. And then we've got these cool, like I said, these, these uh, truss style floor joists that make our jobs really easy, no holes to drill or anything. So I uh, just wanted to show you, it's kind of a new way that we're seeing a lot of these buildings like this. We're starting to see it more and more, and uh, it's it's super efficient way to heat your home and keep the your warm uh, your house super tight. So we, they're putting in kind of air filtration systems as the norm now. Uh, anyways, this is what we're doing today, and I uh, hope you found this interesting.